guys, today I'm here to surprise my friend Paul Alexander, also known as the man in the iron lung with a big stack of cash that we all raised by telling a story that inspired millions of people. And so many of you guys had questions for Paul that I came right back here to answer those questions you've been dying to know. Paul? Paul spends almost every moment of his day in an iron lung, which is the only thing that's keeping him alive. Welcome back. That's because he's paralyzed from the neck down, so without it, he can't breathe. The machine helps him breathe by using negative pressure to take air into his lungs. All right, Paul, I'm back. <laughs> so, last video inspired so many people. I wanted to come today and read you some of the comments from the video, the first video. Mm. It's, it's gonna blow you away. And then, then I wanna answer some of the questions that people are dying to know. Can I really help that many people? Here, look, let, me, let me just read a few to you. Okay. Wow, Paul had every reason to give up and become a victim of circumstances, yet he chose to persist and become something great. Truly an inspiration. Wow. I struggle with drug addiction and it's absolutely disgusting and selfish. I flatlined and was saved by the hospital by means of DFib and CPR. I'm newly sober and seeing this man saying he hasn't given up has made me cry. Holy crap. What an inspiration. God bless you, Paul. That's incredible. I was about to give up, but then I was, with this recommendation, I clicked on this and saw this man talking about life and defeating polio. Such an incredible motivation. I want to be an artist drawing, but Paul's motivation, I will never forget that. I'll put my heart and hard work on it every day. And one day, I will improve a lot and be much better. Don't Never give up, kids. Find a way to make it happen. I'm sure he will, too. I'm a teenager, and now I'm already 19 years old. I feel depressed a lot, and I've lost my family and motivation. I lost hope for myself. I'm living every day like a person without a soul. I feel ashamed of myself, and I can't do the things like him. He truly inspires me to keep myself up and push myself to work hard on my own life and live like no other. Thank you again for sharing. I'm now ready to face this life. This guy, this guy is um, an inspiration to me. So Paul, what do you think of all these comments? I don't, I don't know how to handle these kind of comments. But when things are really bad, and you're really feeling down that day, that's when you got to be your best. And I met, I met several people in my life that were wanting to commit suicide. And some of them were being friends of mine. And they would tell me, I'm going to kill myself. And the only thing I could think of was, anyway, there is nothing else. There's no hope. There's nothing. Whereas if you continue to live, you have the hope of struggling through it. It makes your life better. I always think, Paul, don't give up. Keep fighting. I feel like if I if I could continue, it isn't the best interest of everyone. It's not just me, in my life, my dreams, people that meet me, that love me, and thank God for that. Um, and I feel like I have a responsibility to people, lots of people. Everyone is dying to ask you some questions. Some of these are a little bit funny and some are pretty serious. You ready? I'm ready. All right, Paul, I've had hundreds of people ask this. How do you poop? How does this work in here? Kind of off, boy. Poop. Poop. How do you poop? Oh. Ah, yeah, they always get to the basics. They, okay. Straight up. I told you it's a little funny. Uh, the same way that hospital, if you're, if you're lying in a hospital bed and you need to poop, they bring you a pan. Okay. 
Well, there you go. So you have a little bed. I have a portable toilet. <laughs> portable toilet. Okay. Okay, do you have a special diet or any special foods that you love? I love food. It's a wonder I've got 300 pounds. So <laughs> I guess I know what to stop eating, but I love all kinds of food. Sushi, fried chicken, uh, steamed dumplings, you name it, I love it. Now that you've been hooked up to this machine for most of your life, are you scared that what if the electricity goes out? Yes. What happens? I've been in that position. You've been in it? What happened? Um, I couldn't breathe. And it would result in either passing out because no oxygen to the burn. Um, or somebody would come in and help me or give me a breath or whatever. I have known people in similar situations that did not have anybody show up. And they didn't make it. So Roy Rogers didn't come to them. And they died. So. So if yeah. the power goes out, you need to immediately get it plugged back in or it's going to be really hard to breathe, it sounds like. Yes. How long could you make it without it? Now, probably maybe an hour. Is there a smaller version of this thing, and why aren't you in it? No. Why is that? The, the yard lung is the only negative pressure product. The others are positive. Well, the portable positive. So the portable ones are positive pressure, this is negative, and this, what's the benefit of negative? The negative vacuum would suck my chest out and makes me inhale. So how do you take a bath? I take a bath by uh, being Watched by my caregivers, okay. Either in the bathtub or on the bed. <laughs> Everyone is asking about your lizard. What's your lizard's name and why is he or what? she there? Your lizard. Story's real simple. When I was a kid, before I caught polio, I caught the flying outside almost continuously. I love to curl up at the flower beds and play with the little creatures I found. Okay. Which back then were hard folks. And a friend of mine gave me this little fella that I keep it right there. In college, you had to leave the iron lung to go to class for college, you know, for school. So, how did that work? I had to learn to bring them out. It takes all of my energy. It took me a year, a year and a half. Wow. To develop that ability to breathe. Did you ever come out of the iron lung? I think I'm out for all day. Oh, I can we come, come out, out today? Yeah, all day long. Would you come out today? Would I come out? Yeah. No. Not right now? You, you're good in there? No, I'm not ready to come out today. Not today. But. I, I would go to court as a lawyer all day in court. I would go on little short day trips. Mm -hmm. Part of it. Um, I'd go to football games or, you know, whatever. I could stay out there for... Now, is your, is your body inside of here is it smaller? Is it yeah, it's smaller. It's My smaller body. than a normal sized man's body. So you don't grow if you don't move. Right, okay. so you're not getting the muscle. And so I grew to about a very young man size. Okay. I weigh about 135 pounds. 135 pounds, wow. And okay. I'm five feet tall. 
You're five foot? Five feet tall. What are you most grateful for? Grateful? Yeah. This would be the hardest place you could have had. Because I don't believe he is. I'm grateful for the way that I am. You are. I, I can't say that I'm glad I caught polio, but I am glad, thankfully for real, that I developed these skills, the knowledge, the abilities that having caught polio demanded of me, okay? And I feel like I accomplished uh, more than if I had lived without it. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. I love life. And uh, when I open my eyes, I think, God, another guy could. I can accomplish this, I can be bad, I can call that person, I need a call, I can paint a picture, I can read a book, I can cut a cord, I can win that case, I can do a thousand things. Well, what does it cost to live this way? It costs a lot. I got to admit. Um, just, just caregivers, which are very difficult to find in terms of quality and care, cost a lot of money because I need care 24 hours a day. There was a line from the last video where you said this. So why write a book? to inspire thousands of people, just like you. Well, Paul, I have some news for you. Your dream has come true, but in a way a little bit bigger. So not thousands of people. I'm talking millions and millions and millions of people you inspire. How does that make you feel? It's been, in, uh, it's been phenomenal, man. And I thank God for it. So, Paul, how can people get a hold of you? The best way to get a hold of me is email because then I can work through it, answer some of it, and do my best to contact me. Alright, well listen Paul, I've got something for you. In this envelope, it's $10,000 cash. Use it however you like. That's unbelievable. Yeah. So don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> that is, I don't know what to say. I, mean, I don't know what to say. The outpouring of support from all the people, from the GoFundMe, from the video, from everything, was just unimaginable. You touched my life, thousands of people's lives, millions of people's lives, and I want this to go to you. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. There were many times I was abandoned. And I survived on my own. God's very generous with people that are people people. They love each other. They take care of each other. They think of them first. And that's the way I like to think of myself.